Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Allison Maloney. Disorder at the border. It's getting worse. And as we learned in the previous segment, the Department of Homeland Security is coming up with plans to increase oversight of its patrol. This as there's some new compelling footage being revealed from our own border correspondent, Jason Jones, who's standing by live in Texas after a busy night last night. Uh, Jason, first, thank you for joining us. Talk to us about the footage that you have. Well, good morning to you. Yeah, we've been embedded all week, as you know, with the Texas Department of Public Safety as they conduct saturation patrols down along this border to try to help U.S. Customs and Border Protection with Operation Lone Star. Now, take a look at this exclusive video we've got. What I want you to really focus on here are these scouts. Take a look. And when we scan out, we pick up an area where we got people staging. And now we got them running around. Here comes the raft. Uh, they're in a hurry now all of a sudden. I bet you if we look around more, we'll find uh, a group of bodies laid up, ready to go. And they did. And let me tell you, it was one raft after the next raft after the next raft as these alien smuggling groups and these Halkons lined up along the river watching law enforcement. These are very coordinated operations and it's difficult to show you these Halkons and how they hide along that border. But if you ever wonder, how is it that millions of people are moving in and out of this country to evade law enforcement and millions of pounds of drugs every year? This is how. But it's a rare glimpse to be able to see how the cartels, this is also to, just so you know, cartel the Gotham scouts, who work with the alien smuggling organizations to get these folks in. And you were able to see exactly how many there are. I mean, I gotta tell you, when you fly over, they just litter both the US and the Mexico side. And that's how they have operational control of our Southwest border. Well, wow. Jason, where in Texas is that? Yeah, that's specifically in Roma, and you're looking into a town called Miguel Aleman. Now, you may be familiar with that because I, I show you this location all the time. This is also one of the most violent areas because this is where Cartel de Gafo, known as CDG, and Cartel del Noreste are battling for control of that area. But even with that, even with the amount of violence happening, they are moving families, runners, and drugs all up and down that river. And when you fly at night with that forward-looking infrared in one of those helicopters, it allows you a different view because you're able to see how these tactics really play out. And you know, you're getting ready, you're able to see it there because of that helicopter. Wow. It's really something to be there to just see the level of what Border Patrol is facing every day. And that's why you know I'm stunned when we hear what's coming, some of the, the things coming out of DHS and Washington on this. This border, we've got a lot of problems down here, and the data supports it. Well, we've had 518,000 apprehensions in just a three-month period. Yeah, so many, so many problems, so many issues every day. Jason Jones, thank you so much. Great footage there. Keep up the good work. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.